What's up guys, Damien Keys here, welcome back to the channel. So this week I have been working on a new course for my Music Business Academy and I thought today I would do a condensed version for you guys. Nice. So, I've got a question for you. What have you got planned in for the next six months? No, God, please, no, no! How's the next six months look for you? When I'm talking about releases and promotion, etc. What have you actually got planned in? Because as we are aware, there is so much to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And if we look back over the last six months, it's easy to feel like we haven't achieved enough of what we've been doing. And part of that is because we haven't planned out. And all of a sudden that six months goes in the blink of an eye. Bill Gates once famously said, most people overestimate what they can do in one year, but they underestimate what they can do in 10. But if we plan the detail and we work towards that, then that momentum starts to build. Our job is those 1% every single day looking forward into the future to build something massive. So whilst it's easy to look into the next few releases, how does that fit into the future? How does that fit into your third album or your fifth album? How do the small things that we do now fit into the big stuff? And on top of that, how do you keep on top of your progress, your targets, how you hit them, have you hit them? How do you measure that success? You are now accountable to the goals that you set. So today, we are actually going to set them. So what you will need is very simple, a calendar, a pen and paper, or pretty much you can do everything on your iPhone right now. So like every good plan, we start at the end and we work backwards. So firstly, how many releases do you wanna put out in the next six months? Now, my recommendation is at least four. Let's face it, we're artists, we're musicians. We have to be putting out content because when people say, I'm not sure what to put out on my social media, well, firstly, we need to know where these big pillars are gonna be. We need to know when we've got a new song, a new video, something big that we can put out. And we're talking six months. So therefore, we need at least four, which is one every six weeks. Can you do six? If you can, do six. Now this is up to you and your skill set because if you feel that you can put out really, really great songs every week, then make a better target. If you feel that because of the recording that you need to do and the finances, then it can't be for every four, six, eight weeks, then work from that that point, but you do need to have that in. These are the big pillars. This is the start of our plan. So firstly, I want you to write down how many tracks you will release in the next six months, then you are going to put them into your calendar. When is the next release? Then when is the one after that? And actually put in your calendar because this, this is where you can actually plan in between. You've got your pillars. What do we start putting in between? Next, photo shoots. How many photo shoots are you gonna put in in the next six months? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, where did photo shoots come from? I don't plan photo shoots. Well, why not? You're constantly telling me in the comments below, I'm not really sure what I should be putting on my social media. Well, let's make some great content. How do we do that? Let's go and make some really great photo shoots. So why can't we have six photo shoots? Six months, one photo shoot every month. Now, how are you gonna do this? It's very simple. You're either gonna put some money in and you are gonna pay a photographer for a photo shoot so you have quality photos. Or if you can't afford that, the next option is you are going to go through your Instagram and start looking for the person or people that you know who take the best pictures. And then you're gonna reach out and say, I need a favor. I can see that you're pretty handy with a camera. How do you fancy doing a photo shoot for me or my band? Now we're on the next level of pillar. We've got our releases. We also know that there's gonna be some really great photos that we can start to sprinkle out month by month. So our socials are, are now gonna take a step up. Next, for you songwriters, what about songs? How many songs are you going to write in the next six months? Now, some of you are going, I have to wait until the inspiration hits, but come on. If you've written four songs in the last six months, Come on, it's not good enough. We've got to do better than that. So how many can we put in? Do you have specified time for your songwriting? Have you put in an evening a week or two evenings a week so that you can get past the inspiration and start honing your craft and writing stuff, even if the songs that you write aren't your best work and you throw them away, that's fine. We're forcing the inspiration. So how many songs are you gonna put in? How about, 25 in the next six months. Now I know 25 sounds like a lot of songs, but we have got six months to do it. And that technically is one a week. 
And I think as a songwriter, you are capable of writing a song every week, even if out of 25 songs, 22 of them are absolute garbage. I don't mind. We're forcing the process and we're actually making sure that we're getting song after song. And you never know when that inspiration will hit you and one of those songs might be the winner. Now then, performances. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be gigs. It could be some kind of digital performance, but how many performances have you got in in the next six months? For most of you watching, you are musicians, you are artists, you are bands, therefore one of our jobs is to perform. That is what we do. So how many have you done in the last six months? Now I know we are, we've been under lockdown, but you can still do digital performances. You can still go live. You've still got options. And when this does go and we can get out and do gigs, how many have you got booked in? Because I don't like it when I see six months go by and bands have done six gigs. That's one gig every month. And especially if this is for you musicians, how many, how many gigs are you doing as a musician? Two a week, three a week, come on, you can do that. So therefore, let's start setting these goals, setting the targets, and let's start putting them in. How many gigs or performances do you wanna do in the next six months? So I think you should start at a minimum of 10. A minimum of 10. If you go to 12, that's two every single month. I think that's doable. Whether that's physical going doing a gig or digitally doing something online, I feel like you're going back to the pillar system. You've got these big, big uh, hitters where you've got your original music and the videos. You've got photo shoots to start to sprinkle in. Then you've got performances to not only talk about, but to take pictures and document and to get the crowd going. So at this point, if they're digital and online, you've got more stuff to sprinkle into your social media. Now then, the big one, numbers. We're all obsessed with numbers. So let's start with Spotify numbers. What is your magic number? What's the number that you want to hit on your next release? Now for me, one thing I usually say to artists is, if you are new to releasing, your first goal, your first target should be 1,000 plays on every single single that you put out. Because that way, you know you're getting some traction, you know you're doing well. But if you've done that, and you think, well, I've done a 1,000, I've done 5,000, then why not double your numbers? Or triple your numbers? We're talking six months. So if you put a release out and you're getting 1,000 or 2,000 plays, then we should be going for 3,000 to 5,000 plays. Let's step it up. Let's make sure that these 1% are kicking in and making something bigger so that the momentum goes from one to two to four to eight and doesn't just stick at this 1,000 number. Then when it comes to other numbers on your social media, you get to define what good looks like. But I'm a big fan on YouTube of trying to get to that 1,000. I think if there's an artist with a team or a band, you split those numbers. I think that is feasible over a six month period if you put time and effort into it. And if you're looking at Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or something else, then it's up to you to decide what good looks like and then how you are gonna hit those numbers. You see, when you've got the target, that's when you can go back and figure out how you're gonna get there, whether that's gonna be gigs or tours or playlists or adverts. But we need to have the target of what good looks like first so we can figure out how we get there. And lastly, in the next six months, can you improve your band by 100%. I'm a big fan of the 1% rule. Every single day, can we do something that progresses us forward a small amount, just 1%? Because if we can do those 1%, they really add up. 1% the next day, 1% the next day. All of a sudden, six months goes by and you have massively improved. For example, your banners, your bio, your about section, your hero shots. Can you look at something and say, I think we can improve this. On your Instagram, you go to your highlights and say, do you think we can do a bit better than this? Well, there's a 1%. Let's make a new highlight with some great photos that we've already collected and we've got, and let's put that into our Instagram, into a highlight. There's 1%. We start doing these every single day. Six months later, you look back and that's when you really see how far you've come. So you've got six months. That is 182 days. That is over a quarter of a million minutes. You have the time, but if you're not setting yourself these goals and these targets, all of a sudden the time drifts by and all of a sudden six months has gone and you think, oh, I didn't quite achieve what I wanted to. 
Now's the time to actually become accountable. And that is what this is about. So I want you to start putting this stuff into your calendar, into your to-do list and holding yourself accountable. It's been really interesting making this course and starting to figure out what is achievable in the next six months. And in the actual course, I start going into budgets and cash flows, planning ads and everything else. But even go into this detail where we say, let's just get the basics down. Even at that point, you can see how you can make a massive difference in six months. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want access to that full course and all of my other courses, as well as some access to me, then check out that link below. It'd be great to have you on board. But otherwise, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. More importantly, come and be a part of this community because I'm so proud of what we're building. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you guys soon.